Okay, so we're going to build the world's simplest to-do list um, and it's going to be pretty basic and it's not going to be production ready but it's going to be a good introduction. So we're going to open up Xcode, uh, we're going to go new project. Now this project is not going to be a single view like we normally do but it's going to be a tabbed view application. Um, so it might be up there, depending on which version of Xcode you've got. So we're going to go next, and I'm going to call this Getting Stuff Done. Um, the organization name can be whatever. Identifier is usually reverse of your domain name. Language is Swift. And we're not going to do any tests or anything like that. We're going to save it in a folder and accept the defaults there. Now, a couple of things I'm going to do. I'm only going to have it portrait and upside down, and I am going to make it iPhone. That just simplifies things for us a little bit. Um, later on, we can look at universal apps and things like that. Um, so, to start off with, I'm just we're going to have a look at our storyboard, and we're going to have a look at the tab bar. Okay, so we've got this tab bar and we've got a first view and a second view. Um, if I run it, um, it's going to be a pretty basic app, but um, you, you'll be able to see that these things here switch between the tabs and you can switch between the tabs using those. So first and second. So first view, second view. So um, the important thing to note is that the code behind these, so first view, um, is actually controlled by first view controller, and our second view is actually run by our second view controller. So our to-do list is going to be really simple. So I'm going to delete those, and I'm going to have a sort of label up top, and then we're going to have our list. That's it. So label, so we just search down here. If you can't see these, you might be on different things here. And drag it out there. Now I'm going to position them. Oh, actually, no, I'll position this first. Um, I'm actually going to make this full width. So drag, drag it across. I'm going to make it full width there. Make it push right up there. And I'm going to make it a little bit bigger, about oh, there. Now, I'm going to set some constraints on it, and that just forces it to be in a consistent place. So I'm going to say, I'm going to go 0 from the top. We can constrain it 16, 16, and we're going to give it a fixed height, and I'm going to make it 60. And add those constraints. Now the other thing we're going to do is we're going to change the label text to get get stuff done. Very late at the moment, so please apologize typing. We're going to center the text and we're going to change the font. We're going to go system custom. And then I'm going to change this to Avenir Next, make it bold, and I'm going to make it quite a bit bigger. So that's my label there. And then the second thing I'm going to put on here is a table bit. Table view. So I'll drag that out. And again, I'm going to drag it to full screen and we're going to add some constraints. So I'm going to add 8, 16, 16, and I'm going to say 0 from there. So that's the four constraints and add those four constraints. Now in our table, we're going to hold the control key, select the table view, hold the control key down and drag it up and go data source, do it again, 
and say delegate. So that just lets us um, use table view within our code. Um, we're going to have a prototype cell, so that's what our cell is going to look like. And we're going to look in here at our cell and we're going to change this thing here, this reuse identifier. And we're just going to call it item cell. And we have to remember what that says for later on. So that's the layout of this. Um, in the next video, I'll show you how to bling the app up a bit. But at the moment, we're just keeping it simple. Now, we're going to connect this up to our code and get stuff happening. So to do that, we're going to make sure we've got our first view controller selected. And then we're going to choose the assistant editor up the top here. And then that will be the assistant editor. Now, I can't see anything. Not enough room. So I'm going to make some room by toggling these. I can make a bit more room by going full screen. Toggling, so that toggles the right panel, the left panel. Uh, gives us a bit of room and I can toggle that off, but sometimes that's handy to have. So in here, this is our code and we don't actually need our did receive memory warning for our simple app. So we've just got our view did load. Now above here, we're going to put some our um, table view and, and that's about it actually. So what we're going to do is we're going to select our table view and we're going to control, hold control down and drag it across here and I'm going to call this item table and I'm going to go connect and that creates a variable that is connected so if I look at that it's connected to the table view here and we can reference it in our code. Now if I bring my left menu back and I click my first view controller and then select my, my um, standard editor we've got our code here. <coughs> now to actually use a view uh, table view we need to tell the controller that it has a delegate, so it's a UI table, UI table, so I can tab table view and it's a data source and then comma UI table view and it's a delegate DE and then I can just tab complete. So I've got UI view controller, data source and delegate. We've got an error. Oh no. All this is saying is that we need some functions. Now the latest versions of Xcode, we can actually add these protocols or these functions in. So we'll add them in and I'm going to move them down below here. So we've got <coughs> function, number of rows in this section. Okay, so we actually haven't got any um, data or anything in there. So what I'm going to do is create a um, array to hold my list, store our um, items in. So I'm going to create a variable. I'm going to call it item list. And it's going to equal get milk. Bread. Ring mum win lotto. Okay, so one, two, three, four. So what I could do is this tells us how many rows do we actually have. We go one, two, three, four. I've got four because I've got four of my items. So I could go return four. But what if I added something? So item list, lucky for us, has a method or a value property called count. So I can go return item list dot count. And that just is the number of items. Just like I went one, two, three, four, 
appointment went up here, win lotto, um, play in pool. So that would now be five. Now the next thing we actually need to do is we need to actually say what is this cell going to be. So we've got this cell for row app. So for each row, and the value will be index path, we're going to have a cell. So what does it actually look like? So we've got to create the cell. And we go let cell equal UI table view cell. So that's this one. And we're going to say, just using autocomplete, this one. So what style? We're going to have UI table view cell, no delegate, table view, cell uh, style, and it's going to just be default. So UI table view cell style default, and our reuse identifier is the, um, what we put up before, which was item cell. So that reuse identifier comes from this value. Remember we put um, in here our, where are we, prototype cell, wait, item cell, and we called it identify item cell. Okay, so that's the one we use. So we go back to first view control. So we've got cell, we've got a cell. Then we need to set some text. So we're gonna go, L dot text label dot text. We're going to say it is equal to item list, and we're going to get the item list that is at index path, the row index path row index path dot row, and it will need to be. I'm not entirely sure we've got that, so we uh, make that an optional. Um, and then we can just return the cell. Now, that should, if I stop the simulator and run it, and then load it up again, so it's loading up, we should see playing pool, win lotto. Now, we can't do much with that, so let's add the delete function in, and we haven't done our second. So let's get the delete function happening, and then the second um, bit in. So I'll just move that to center screen. Okay, so <coughs> to delete, we actually need to use the um, commit editing. So we can just start C-O-M-M, so table view, um, commit editing style for row at index. Now, we need to check if this editing style is equal to delete, and if it is, we're going to remove the item list at the index path row. So, if editing style is equal to my table view editing editing style dot delete, so if it's equal to that, we're going to say item list dot remove, and we're going to remove it at index path dot row. So item list is our list up here, and we're moving, and we're moving the item at that row. So let's check that out. So, um, Rapid testing, so let's close that down, give it more space. Have a look at here, loading up. And we should be able to swipe left and go delete. Yeah. So we should be able to go delete. So there we go. Yeah. 